Have you ever wondered how big the universe is? Well, the thing I can say is that we humans are actually incredibly small. And in today's video, I'm going to exactly present you the size of the universe. And after this video, you're gonna realize how small we actually are. So as you can see right now, um, I am doing this video from a website, actually. Um, it is inspired by a website. I mean, this video is inspired by a website. Um, it's like the size of space. I mean, the website's name is neil.fun. Uh, but like you can find the like the size of space thingy in that website it's and it's pretty fun I have reviewed it like last time and in this video I am just gonna review it again and talk over it and the link is in the description anyways let's just get right in to the video without wasting time. Right, so this is an average sized astronaut, as you can see. And then this is a Hubble Space Telescope. It is a man made object, as it writes. And this Hubble Space Telescope basically takes data from space. And then the, this space shuttle is also a man-made object, so it basically takes astronauts to space. And then this is a space station, it is where astronauts do stuff. You understood what I'm trying to say. And then, um, and then this is another man-made object. This is the Saturn V rocket. It is a man-made rocket. And then now things are actually going to get bigger. Now, as you can see, the Saturn V rocket, it looks like an ant compared to this asteroid called Bennu. You see the difference? And there's also a big difference between Bennu and Deimos, which is a moon of Mars. And there is actually a bigger asteroid than a moon, which is called um, 243 Ida or 243 Ida. And then this is another asteroid, which is bigger than all of these, all of the things we talked all of the obje objects we talked. This is also an asteroid called For Vesta. And this is a dwarf planet. It is it is called Ceres. So you know Ceres from the solar system video I made. And this is Maki Maki, a dwarf planet also from the solar system video I made. And this is Pluto, a dwarf planet. And like I said in the solar system video, um, Pluto used to be considered as the ninth planet, but now it's just a dwarf planet. But still, a dwarf planet is also not bad too. And and the moon is actually bigger than. I mean. I mean, the moon can also be bigger than like a dwarf planet. And that moon is basically the moon of Jupiter, which is called Europa. And as you can see, this is our classic moon, moon of Earth, which the moon that like the first human being, Neil Armstrong, like put his step into in 1969. And this is Io, um, a moon of Jupiter, which is basically the size of the moon. And then there's Mercury, which 
is a rocky planet, like it's uh, it says here, it writes here, and there is, and this is the moon of Saturn. It is Titan, and you know, um, and you know, like um, I talked about Titan in the solar system video, and I talked about how it is larger than Mercury. And as you can see, it's kind of a very little amount. Even though if it is like a very little amount, Titan is kind of larger than Mercury, but almost they're the like almost they're the same size. But still, I mean, even even like if a moon is big as Mercury, then it is surprising. Anyways, and then there is Mars, which is a rocky planet. Then there is Ceres B, which is a white dwarf star. And as you can, um, I forgot to mention this. And as you can see, Ceres B is like, um, how do you say this? Um, like I, you know how I talked about like, um. Uh, you know, in the life cycle of stars video, um, I talked about like the white dwarfs and how the white dwarfs are basically like the death of red giants and and you know like uh, average stars and you know and Sirius B is exactly that. I mean, it is a white dwarf, so it is basically a dead star. Anyways, and then there is Venus which is a rocky planet and the hottest planet in the solar system which is large as Sirius B and then there is the planet we live on, Earth and then there is Kepler um, 22b or 22b and it is also like um, it is also an Earth-like exoplanet it looks like Earth and exoplanet basically means like a planet outside the solar system and there is Neptune a nice giant and then there is Uranus and then Saturn and then Jupiter and like almost 1300 Earths can literally fit inside Jupiter and then there is Sun, and which is a yellow dwarf star, and 1,000 Jupiters can approximately fit inside a Sun. And then there is Sirius A, a main sequence star, which is bigger than Sun. And then there are like starting to be like bigger suns, the I mean bigger stars than Sun, um, like Pollux. It is a red giant star. And then there are black holes now. We, and this is Sagittarius A, which is a supermassive black hole. And Arcturus, red giant star. And Aldebaran, uh, a red giant star too. And um, Rigel, uh, a blue super giant star. And this is a blue hypergiant star, pistol, the pistol star. And then as you can see, the stars are getting more big, larger and larger. And this is the Betelgeuse star, which is the which is a red supergiant star. And this is the UY Scuti, which is a red supergiant star and also the biggest star ever known right now in the universe. And you know the sun is like the sun is like literally uh, like a little little dot compared to UI Scuti. Like it is literally like a dot compared to UI Scuti. I mean, unbelievable, right? And then things are actually getting more bigger and bigger. And as you know, this is the M87 black hole. It is a supermassive black hole, and the and this is the first image of a black hole, which is like pretty much 
so so much like larger than the largest star and then this is NGC 3842 a supermassive black hole and then now black holes are shown as you can see because black holes are very large objects uh, in space and this is ton 618 another supermassive black hole and this is the cat's eye nebula which is a planetary nebula like i talked in the life cycle of a star um, a planetary nebula which is which is formed by a red giant star like i talked in the life cycle of a star video anyways and there is like and this is barnard 68 which is our dark ne nebula and this is the ring nebula which is a planetary nebula and now the nebula is shown and this is the butterfly nebula which is also a planetary nebula this is the crab nebula uh, it is a supernova remnant so it is not exactly a nebula and this is the Kepler supernova. It is also a supernova remnant. And then there are supernovas and stuff. And this is Tycho's supernova and supernova remnant. And then things are. And then there are galaxies now. Things are getting larger and larger. And this is the Sieg 2. And it is a. It is a dwarf spheroid. Sphirodo, Sphirodo galaxy. Sorry for my grammar mistake. My apologies. I mean, it's basically a dwarf galaxy, the C2. And this is the Tarantula Nebula. It is an emission nebula. And this is the Barnard's Galaxy. And a buried irregular galaxy and I forgot to tell this as you can see a nebula is literally bigger than a dwarf galaxy can you believe that? and then this is the fireworks galaxy it is an intermediate spiral galaxy and this is the Milky Way galaxy our galaxy which is a buried spiral galaxy and this is Howard's object it is a Ring galaxy. This is the cartwheel galaxy, the lenticul lenticular galaxy. This is the Andromeda galaxy, a spiral galaxy, which is the closest galaxy to the Milky Way galaxy. And this is IC1101, a supergiant elliptical galaxy, which is the largest galaxy ever known. And now there are galaxy groups, which is now this is uh this is called the local group which is a galaxy group like i said and this is a virgo supercluster and it's a galaxy supercluster now there are superclusters and this is the lanya kea supercluster it's also a galaxy supercluster this is the huge lqg it is a large quasar group Basically, everything, like every matter, energy, space, and time, is located in this universe. And, you know, and I guess now you realized why we are like literally a piece of dust in the middle of the Sagan here, somewhere something incredible is waiting to be known. Carl Sagan. I hope you enjoyed the video and, and thank you for watching. And the link of the website is in the description.